What do you get when you cross Gary the snail and a pill bug? You get this week's fossil of the week. Fossils of the week, because there's two of them. Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Hunter Schrader and this week we've got two trilobites for you guys. Two for one special. Now I know what you're thinking, you've already done an episode on trilobites. That's true, but there are about 22,000 species of trilobites, so we could do at least seven more episodes. Maybe eight. But this week we're going to focus on these two and specifically on their eyes. The two trilobites you're seeing in front of you are Asaphus and Eldridgeops, and they're two of my favorite trilobite genera. And they're both really famous and unique for their eyes. Let's start on the one over here. This guy's from Russia of the Ordovician, around St. Petersburg area or Leningrad if you don't want to let the Cold War go. And those eye stalks are really cool. Let's get closer and look at them. The first thing you will notice is those eye stalks, and they're very, very well defined. And this is a beautiful fossil for showing them because a lot of times they will break during fossilization. But what these eyes probably function as is kind of like a periscope. It's possible that the trilobite would submerge itself in mud or some sediment, keep those eyes out, and look for either prey or predators and act accordingly. Now that we've looked at those pretty cool eyes, let's look at these ones over here. And these ones, as you'll notice, are a little bit more intricate. Eldridge Ops here is one of the most distinct trilobites simply for those eyes there. You can see they've got a bunch of little lenses there, and there's no common cornea between them, which is kind of interesting. Some paleontologists have theorized that they may even have been able to see color, though that's kind of hotly debated. This does raise the question as to why did these two trilobites have such different eyes? It probably comes down to the lifestyle they lived. Asphys here, as we mentioned, was probably more of an ambush predator, so it just needed eyes to stick out of the ground and see what was coming its way. Whereas Eldridge Ops here was likely more of an active hunter and needed that to see its prey, or even predators. Now that is all the time we have for trilobites today, but before we go, I will use my handy dandy notebook here to give you guys a scaled comparison. And you can see that neither of these guys are record breakers, but they're pretty large for the species that they are. Make sure you guys do like and subscribe. We do put out a new video like this every week, and I promise our jokes are only going to get corny. Uh... That almost worked.